Here's everything you need to know about the September 2022 real estate market in Vancouver. It wasn't the slowest month we've ever had, but it was pretty close. We only had 480 sales in Vancouver, which is the second lowest September that we've had in 10 years. Things were pretty quiet. But what's interesting is not a lot of people decided to sell their home this month. We only had 1,342 new listings, which is one of the lowest months for new inventory of the past 10 years. Now, average prices in the city peaked in March of 2022. It was an all-time high of 1.336 million for an average home in Vancouver. That number is down a just over 8% in September to 1.22 million. Now, real estate prices in this city, like every city, are a function of supply and demand. Our supply is actually pretty average. At the end of September, we had 3,421 homes on the market, which is kind of normal for September. Wasn't our best month, wasn't our worst month. It's kind of a normal amount of homes on the market. So what do we know? We know the demand is down. We had a really bad month. There wasn't a lot of homes sold. Supply is stable. It's not changing dramatically. So the obvious question is why? The lack of demand in our market started very clearly after interest rates started to rise this spring. And that correlates almost exactly with the price decline in home values. Now what's stopping people from selling their homes today, in my experience, is they're looking at the market and saying, hey, prices were pretty good not that long ago. We don't wanna sell right now. So instead, they're deciding not to sell. You all have to remember, we sold so many homes in 2020 and 2021 and early 2022 that people just don't need to move. A lot of people bought homes at low interest rates on five-year terms, and they're quite happy in their home. When we look back over the time period 2020 to 2025, we're gonna see an average number of home sales over five years, but we stole deals from the future. We did so many transactions in 2021 and 2022 that there's just less people who need to move right now. So the obvious question is, do I think house prices are gonna fall? Well, they're already falling. Price is a lagging indicator. In order to see a really dramatic change in prices, we need two things to happen. We need demand, to slow down, which it's doing as a result of interest rate changes, and we need supply to increase dramatically, which it's just not doing. If you were gonna move over the last couple of years, you've probably already moved. So it feels like things are pretty stable and normal, and I don't see a spike in inventory. I went back and looked at average home prices in Vancouver for the last number of years, because I wanted to figure out when the peaks happened and what they could teach us about what might come next. Home prices peaked in April 2008, then again in October 2009. Remember the Great Recession of 2008? That didn't last long in the Vancouver housing market. Prices peaked again in February 2014, July 2017, and again in March 2022. Since March, home prices have been declining, and they are down just under 9% since March of 2022. However, we are not seeing the massive increase in new listings that historically coupled the other house pricing drops. So if you wanna know where house pricing is going in the future, I would keep an eye on where supply is. And unless you see a lot of homes coming up for sale, I don't think we'll see a dramatic decrease in prices from what we've already seen. So now that you know what's going on, where do you think the market's going? Leave your comments below, and if you have any questions about real estate, make sure you leave them there too. And if you enjoyed this information, be sure to click and subscribe so we can share it with even more people.